Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we're in John chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 10 down through 15. A few of these verses I read yesterday, but I want you to hear them in context. It reads, Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying this to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water or water that provides life. The woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw water with and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? She's misunderstanding him here. Are you greater than our father Jacob? He gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and livestock. So historical place with a lot of historical significance, right? Jesus then says to her, everyone who drinks this water, and I imagine Jesus pointing to the well and the water, will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, sir, give me this water so that I will not be thirsty or have to come here to draw water. So guys, throughout the entire gospel, uh, John illustrates over and over again how people misunderstand Jesus. You see, Jesus says something spiritually, and then people hear it only naturally. Thus, they miss the point every time. <laughs> We've seen that already happen with Nicodemus, right? And then it happens here again with this woman at the well. Jesus offers her water that provides life, and she thinks he means natural water, H2O. Even when he explains it down further, she still misses the point, assuming that he's talking about natural water that's going to stop some sort of natural thirst, right? So this story for me is an excellent example of why people have a hard time really understanding biblical things, spiritual things, and Jesus. You see, we are natural people who tend to only look at things naturally, yet all the natural things of this life point to the supernatural, every single one of them. There is a supernatural force behind all things, and all creation is constantly telling us about this force. How does it tell us? Well, it tells us because natural things come up short every time. They leave us thirsty and wanting more. Therefore, we want more water and we want more food and we want more relationships and influence and significance and money and time and peace and whatever it is you want more of right now today. But this thirst, it points us to the fact that the natural things of this life are never going to satisfy us. But we actually seek satisfaction in them only being more unsatisfied. Isn't that true? So Jesus presents this woman with the potential for satisfaction because that's what she wants. And as we're going to see, it's not satisfaction from a natural thirst. It's not more H2O. It's satisfaction for her spiritual thirst, which all of her natural and, and physical and, and temporal extremities are screaming about in her. It's her desire for things like relationship and love and acceptance and, and forgiveness and freedom from even the repetitive sin in her life that she's presently experiencing. And this is exactly why this woman was making a trip to a well at noon when no one else was around. She was actually ridden with shame and guilt and sin. And so Jesus sees this in her, this natural thirst, which is lending itself toward a deeper spiritual thirst that she actually has. And he makes the connection. She understands why she's there at noon when no one else is there. And he sees that she's got a spiritual thirst. So today, that's what I want you to do. I want you to notice the thirst in others. Because guess what? All creation is groaning for satisfaction because it has a thirst. But we need to see it in people. Jesus is the only solution to that thirst. And if God gives you an opportunity to see a thirst, maybe present the satisfaction and the solution. And then keep in mind that they may not get it the very first time. <laughs> I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.